to start off giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, creator of heaven and earth, most high God, of the children of Israel. Also, I want to give double honors to the elder apostle of GMS, a real well, and pass down this truth, knowledge. And I want to say shalom to the Akim out there that push this word in all truth and sincerity. This is Yakara right here. And, um, you know, it's been a few things in the news here lately about the Equifax breach, man. Data breach, fraud, a lot of things going on. <clears throat> it's all nonsense, man. All complete and utter nonsense, man. Equifax ain't had no breach. Equifax is still doing what they do, all right? Crunching numbers, running people's credit, you know, assigning what they feel is your is your um, reliability as far as what you're going to pay and, and your ability to pay, man. All right? But ain't been no breach, ain't been no fraud. It's all conditioning, man. All conditioning, all getting you ready for the acceptance of the mark of the beast, man, the RFID chip, man. Because what they're trying to say is that uh, with credit cards being all across the globe, man, all right, people globe trotting, people traveling, um, that credit cards are, are insecure, uh, credit has become insecure because of it, and uh, it's just going to, it's more mind control, man, to push you into the idea we need more security, more security, more security, more ways to track information, um, and it's just, a, it's a push for the chip, man. All right, it's another push for the chip, man. You want to see more of these things happening, man, more data breaches. I mean, everyone that comes out, you can pretty much um, tell, man, it's all nonsense, man. All right, they pump it up for a couple of days, and then it fades into the, it fades into black, man. And nobody that, nobody that you know personally is affected by this garbage. I don't know anybody who, who is personally affected by this, man. You know what I'm saying? And even if you do find that you were affected by it, it's just, it's, it's some old nonsense, because where are you going to find out you were affected by it? By what? Long on the Equifax. You know what I'm saying? All right? And they're going to tell you, yeah, you were breached. Well, of course they're going to tell you. All right? To keep up with the lies that the devil has spun, man. All right? But it's all nonsense, man. There's been no breach. There's been no fraud, man. It's just a push for it, man. All right? But why do they want to, why do they want to condition your mind for it? Okay? I mean, hey, hey if they're going, if they're going to chip everybody, all right, they're gonna ship everybody. Um, or uh, you know, they're just gonna do it, right? No, they want they want you to voluntarily bring yourself to get chipped, man, because you're gonna think it's good for you. All right, like 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 the elder apostle said, man. They, look, they're gonna make it a convenience for you, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to think it's convenient and and a good thing for you to do voluntarily. So they want to condition your mind so that when they put it in front of you. When they put that syringe in front of you, all right, and set that local anesthesia, okay, up, hey, listen, man, you're ready. You're ready and willing. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of our people are going to do that, man. And they want you to voluntarily do it. It's twofold. The reason they want you to voluntarily do it because taking that chip, man, is, is, is like um, denouncing... The Most High God, even even if your even if your faith isn't in Yahweh, all right, by Shem Yahweh Shai, uh, outright, uh, outright um, denouncing of his power, and uh, you know his power is 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 uh, in a sense going ahead and assuming your worship of the beast, man. All right, and let's get that. All right. Uh, in Revelation 13, let's go up here, um, verse 2, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. Okay? And uh, let's go down. It says, and they worship the dragon, which gave the power unto the beast. And we know that dragon is the devil, man. Okay. That gave power unto the beast. And they worship the beast. So they worship the dragon and, and the beast. Okay. And the beast image saying, who was like unto the beast? Who was able to make more war with him? Okay. So that's, listen, blasphemer. Again, denouncing the most high God, denouncing Yahweh, denouncing his power, man. 
and and uplifting, uplifting the beast, man. All right, uplifting this government, uplifting uh the so-called white man, the devil. Okay, all right, and giving your worship unto him, man. And what does it say uh, in verse five? And there was and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. Okay, blasphemies, man, blasphemies against the Most High, man. All right. So again, this this they want they want you to be they want you to be in league with this man. They want you to denounce the power of the Most High God Yahweh, okay, Creator of heaven and earth as well, man. All right, and give your power, give your worship, give your love, all right, and your trust among many things, okay, because you don't want to trust, uh, uh, you know, little little plastic cards, and you don't want to trust that your information is secure. You know, with anything else, then these government issue RFID chips, man. All right, the power, the power of the government, the power of the system, the power of the society to protect you and your information and your way of life. Okay, that's what it's all about, man. And it says, and there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months, man. All right. And he opened his mouth and blasphemy against Yahweh to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven, man. Okay? So them that dwell in heaven and them that dwell in the safety of the Most High, man, he's going to blaspheme them and blaspheme them that trust in the Most High, man. All right? And, of course, we know what's going, we know what's going to happen, man. We get down here to verse 16, and he calls it, all, both small and great, okay, small in stature, great in stature, okay, uh, rich and poor, okay, so it doesn't matter how much money you have, free and bond, okay, whether you're free or in prison, and look, a lot of people are going to be in prison, okay, for the faith, all right, and as a result of that, you're also going to be given the, uh, given the choice Okay, to take the chip and, and understand, even if you're in prison, it is going to be a choice, man. Why? Because, again, they want you to denounce the Most High God first. Listen, they may just go ahead and chip you anyway. It don't matter. They've already chipped babies. Okay. All right. They've already chipped a lot of military. You know what I'm saying? And they've already chipped a lot of civilians, man, who have, again, voluntarily taken it. Okay. All right. But it won't, it, listen, man, it wasn't no, uh, it wasn't a hard thing for a lot of these people to accept, man, because they've already, look, the conditioning was easier on a lot of them, the, the, the conditioning has been done since birth, man, okay, the conditioning has been done since birth, all right, as far as them uh, uh, telling you that, you know, we need a way to track you, to uh, secure your safety, Okay, if we can find you, you'll never be lost. Okay, all right, missing persons won't, will, will be a thing of the past. Okay, our satellites uh, and our GPS will be able to find you just like a fi find my iPhone app, man. We'll be able to find you that same way, man. All right, they've already got these iPhones coming out with facial recognition and all that, man. So it's all geared towards the same thing, man. But let me let me get back to the scripture, man. Um, Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. And I was just looking at uh, a video, man, of uh, the dude that designed it. Um, uh, uh, that was on the that was on the design. I don't want to say the design committee, uh, but I guess uh, you know one of the minds. One of the minds in the room when this thing was getting thrown around about how we want to do it, how we want to power it, um, you know, what size, what size, you know, can we can we make it so that it has enough uh, information and blah blah blah. Uh, he said that they uh, wanted to see um, where they could put it so that it could recharge itself because it's charged off of uh, body temperature. And they said, well, what's what's some what's one of the places that um, well, where are the places on the body where the temperature changes the fastest, okay? And uh, they, you know, did the studies or whatever, 
And the same thing people have known for ages, man. The body changes temperature the fastest, okay? And and the most, where? On the forehead and on the uh, back of the right hand. Okay, that's why when your mother goes to check if you're, if you're running a fever or if you're hot, if something is wrong with you, what does she do? She would place her hand on your forehead and say, oh man, you're burning up, okay? Because on your forehead, that heat change is fast, it's rapid. If anything's going on in your body that's not right, the heat change on your forehead is going to be rapid. And it's going to show, okay, something's not right here, all right? We need to go blah, 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 go to the hospital, give me some medicine, yada, yada, you know what I'm saying? Same thing with the right hand, okay? Now, this is what the guy was saying that this study showed, and of course, mothers have known this, people have known this for ages, all right? All right, now another thing on that, and uh, the video, man, I actually shared it with my, um, with my Google, uh, Google Plus, um, but another thing they found is that the uh, battery in these things, which is a lithium battery, and a lot of brothers have already, have already known this, um, is that this battery is a lithium battery, man, inside of this thing, okay? If anything happens, okay, and I, they probably also put some other things in there, all right, cyanide, I've heard cyanide as well, all right, but just the lithium itself, man, if it busts, okay, with any sort of impact, this thing is crushed, and that lithium is inside your hand, it's going to cause a sore, man, a grievous sore, all right? And it talks about in the scripture where, um, the uh, uh, the Lord is going to smite them, which took it with the with the uh, grievous sword, man. What is that sword? That sword is going to be in the hand. You know what I'm saying? Probably going to cause all these things. Look, man, after it's all said and done, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's taking it. That's 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 going to take it. He's probably just going to say, "Hey, man, you know what? Boom, bust them all at the same time. Everybody's going to come up with a grievous sword, man. It's going to vex them. All right, so." Let's get that, man. That's in um, Revelation. This is Revelation 16 and 2. Um, and it said, and the first one, well, let me just start at verse 1. And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vows of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth. This is the first one, right? And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worshipped his image. Again, key word, worshipped his image. And these are people who may not at one point say, man, you know what, I'm just going to worship Satan. Man. I'm going to be a Satan worshiper or I'm going to be an atheist and I'm going uh, you know, to take this thing because I, I want to worship the devil. Okay, but... But with taking that mark, man, when you voluntarily take the mark, it doesn't matter what your what your uh, what you call your faith. You know what I'm saying? What you call yourself, taking that mark, boom, that's voluntary. That's that's worship right there. Okay. It says uh, a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worshipped his image. Okay. So taking that chip. Is automatic worship of the beast, man, in his image, man. Taking that chip is automatic worship of the beast in his image, man. So don't take the chip, man. Don't take the chip, man. All right? If you find yourself in a position, okay, where they're, where they're coming up to you with all sorts of uh, uh, great things, man, all right? All sorts of, um, you know, Dainty, uh, <clears throat> dainty, uh, uh, you know, basically deceit, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and um, you know, things, offerings, basically, man. You know, offers, you know, for good things, man. All right, and making it sound all sweet, man. All right, smooth, buttery words, man. All right, smooth as oil, man. All right. As it, as it says, uh, as it says in the scriptures, man, having, having buttery, smooth words, man. Listen, war is in their heart, man. All right, evil is in their heart, and this thing is going to be a, a, a great evil upon you, man. If you take that chip, man. All right. All right, but going back to um, chapter thirteen, man. Um, 
Me, I start at verse 16 again. It says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, man. Okay? And again, we know that um, when it talks about mark, that word is karagma, all right, uh, which means a stamp and printed mark, uh, mark stamped on the forehead or right hand as a badge of the followers of the Antichrist, man. But they're going to make it sound like a badge of honor, man, like you're doing a good thing, man. They're going to twist it all sorts of ways, man. I mean, they're really going to spin this thing beautifully, man. That's why they got all these news shows, um, you know, going to all these, uh, most of them are devils, all right, taking this, taking this uh, chip, man, all right, making it sound like it's so good, man, soda machines, ATMs, doors open like magic, you know what I'm saying, all right, a mark branded upon horses, thing carved, sculpture, graven work, all right, of idolatrous images, okay, Car thing carved, okay, right, Okay, a cutting, man. Okay, when you carve something, you cut it. All right? And um, uh, to go, you know, to go back, uh, Karax, all right, this means, you know, a steak. Um, so, you know, it, we, we can go back and, and, and uh, you know, origin from Karasso to sharpen to a point. Okay, so we can go, you know, back all, all day and, and, and check out, you know, Karagma and, and um, but, you know, a lot of a lot of the brothers, man, in this already know what this is, man. I mean, it's no secret no more, man. All right? means cutting, uh, um, carve, all right, things sharpened to a point. Listen, man, it's a syringe, all right? It's going to make a small incision in your hand, okay, a cut, an incision, all right, to stick this doggone chip in there, man. So it's, it's, it's no, um, you don't have to mince words. You don't have to mince words here, man, okay? As, uh, as, as, as some of the camps say, and a lot of these naysayers and scoffers say, man, okay? Talking about, uh, when well, you twist in scripture, blah, 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 man. All right? Well, they're already, they're already done for, man, honestly. Okay, the, those, those same ones are going to be the ones that take the chip, man. You know what I'm saying? Those same ones are going to be the ones that take the chip, man. All right, this is verse um, 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. Okay? So if you have this chip, all right, it's going to be like going through a checkpoint, man. All right? Everything's going to come up uh, uh, green, green, green. You're going to have that one that comes up red. Okay, don't have the chip, you can't buy, man. All right, well, hey, I guess I'm not buying today, man. Hell, might starve to death, all right? All right, but the hope is that Yahweh by Shimmy, our Shai will save, save us, all right? You know, hopefully we're the men of the elect, man, and hopefully the most high Yahweh by Shimmy, our Shai will save us out of this time, man. You know what I'm saying? And deliver us, man. All right, but some, all right, some are going to lose their life. Some are going to lose their life for this thing, man. All right? But you gain your life that much more in the most high, man. All right? By Shimei Hawashai. All right? In verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score, and six, man. All right? And, uh, that, you know, there's a whole nother lesson that could be done on, on that, just that part right there, man. All right. We can get into the, the, the um, entomology of this and, and uh, stigma, which uh, stigma means um, to cut, uh, you know, in, in so many ways. And so there's a whole nother lesson that can be done on that, man. But the bottom line is, man, don't take the chip, man. And don't believe the hype. Don't believe the hype, man. All right. All this nonsense. Equifax, data breach, it's all, it's all BS, man, bullocks, all right? Nonsense, okay? More conditioning to get people ready. And, you know, the men of the Lord, man, listen, we know this, you know what I'm saying? But um, we, we put these things out, man, as just more encouragement, man, and, and really as a, as a trumpet, man, 
okay, sounding the trumpet because these things are happening at a rate now. Um, just to let us know, look, we're, we're at the end of this thing, man. We're getting closer, man. The house shot's about to come back, all right, and deliver us out of this wicked-ass kingdom, man. So with that, I want to give all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Say Shalom.